gentlemen, the President of America! Shit. I know shit's bad right now, with all the COVID bullshit, and the snowstorms, and we're running out of BCAAs, and fat-free cream cheese, but I got a solution. That's what you said last time, dipshit! I got a solution? You're a dick! Listen up. I got a three-point plan that's gonna fix everything. Number one, I've got a garage gym. Number two, we've got more Splenda than anyone on this block. Number three, we're gonna get strong as fuck. And we're gonna do it all in just one day. calories worth of hoe cakes. Very dry, corny, need butter, and probably some syrup. Well, not bad. Ugh. All right, back out in the gym. Ho cakes were pretty good. Weren't a big hit with the fan, but we ate them. Now I've got this ax and this sharpening tool. So I'm gonna get this bench workout done. And then in between, I'll be sharpening my ax so that later we can go chop some trees down in a very presidential fashion. Okay, so the training session's going pretty well. I got 240 pounds on the bench press. The other thing I've been trying to progress lately is my weighted dips. 
So last week I got 75 pounds for 10 reps, and this week I'm gonna shoot for 80 pounds in 10 reps. So I wanted to show you guys that, just to sort of capture that progression and see if I can do 10 whole reps of this. 85 85, all right, can you grab me another glass of water? So let's see. We're going for 85 pounds for 10 reps. And we're ready. 85 pounds strapped on. All right, chest workout's done. Axe is sharpened up. We're ready to go outside, chop some wood in a few minutes. First, I gotta check in, make sure everything's okay on the home front. All right, 20 score lunges later, so 400 lunges later. We're back out here, back at it. Ready to do a little bit more cardio. This time it's gonna be chopping down a tree. So Lincoln is famous for splitting logs as a, something to do to keep himself fit. I think Washington was more of sort of a hunter and did a lot of those types of things, hunting, fishing, outdoorsman activities. I don't think he split a lot of logs, but there is that famous story about him chopping down the cherry tree. So we've gone out in the backyard, we've sharpened our ax, and we've located one tree in our entire yard that the wife is okay with us cutting down. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this tiny little tree in celebration of President's Day. Not exactly splitting logs, but yeah, should be fun. So let's get after it. Tree is here. And here we go. Wrong. And here we go. So there you have it. We have chopped down a tree. We've earned the right to get inside and eat some of that incredible ice cream that George Washington loved so much. What's up guys? Back inside after chopping down that tree. It's pretty good, you know? I've got the forearms feeling pretty pumped, but I do feel like I've earned this ice cream. And even this sort of 
anabolic ice cream. This is toffee coffee crunch, coffee toffee crunch. Um, one of those things. It's uh, either toffee coffee crunch or coffee toffee crunch. It's Iron Musket's recipe, but then I've added a few different things, you know, some caramel syrup, and I've prepared it a little bit differently. But anyway, it's this is an anabolic ice cream, a big tub of it, and I'm excited to dig into it. George Washington is famous for loving ice cream so much that he brought equipment with him to, I guess, the White House, but probably the place before the White House. Wherever the president lived, he brought ice cream making equipment there so that he could have ice cream as much as he wanted. And I feel him on that. I would definitely take my Ninja Blender with me to the White House if I were president. And along those same lines, like, I feel like if the, the ice cream probably wasn't that quality back then, and if he had ice cream, even Ninja Blender sort of anabolic ice cream today, I think he would just totally freak out. I think it'd be just like in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure when Napoleon, you know, has that big giant tub of ice cream the Z at Ziggy Piggy and he becomes a Ziggy Piggy. I'll show the clip. It's a great scene where he's like going after the last bite of ice cream. Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this ice cream in much the same way. I'm really excited about it and that's gonna have to be a wrap for this day. Pretty fun, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the hoe cakes. That's an official recipe from Mount Vernon's website where, you know, from Washington's estate. And so I prepared it in just the same way that it is supposedly had been prepared in the past on a hoe, H-O-E. That's what it's called. That's why it's called a hoe cake because the hoe is the type of griddle. Anyway, so that was fun. So venison is uh, something I ate today as well. Macros weren't great on that. It was one of those epic venison sticks that are kind of, uh, I think it's like 120, 150 calories for, with 10 grams of fat for some venison. And also not very cheap, pretty expensive. So ate some venison, ate some bacon, ate some hoe cakes, just lived in an old fashioned life, chopping down trees and doing lunges like I'm sure the presidents would have done back in their day if they had known how awesome it was. Anyway, I also just thought it'd be fun to have a President's Day video because I knew everyone would have a Valentine's Day video, including myself, but not that many President's Day videos. So now I've got one and maybe someone will copy me and do one next year. Anyway, I'm gonna crush this ice cream. See you guys in the next video. In the meantime, keep it on the DL. and the stupid beard's back. You don't understand. I'm Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, right. Ha, ha, ha. Now, come on, mister. That's my hat. That's my beard. I am.